Well, currently, the talk of a mega showdown between Joshua and uh, Tyson and Jessica King Fury um, has begun. But Water and Pulev are refusing, both refusing to step aside. Very interesting, though. I um, mean, uh, according to Deontay Water's team um, and co manager Shelly Finko, he said, as far as we are concerned, the next fight for Deontay Water is the third fight with Tyson Fury unless we are told different those are the only plans we have for the Hunter Waters next fight very interesting um I mean your take on this um Alagi Day yeah um you know, it's, it's going to be quite very understandable for Deontay Wilder and um, Pulev as well not to want to accept you know, the step aside offer or whatever it is they're going to be giving. Because, um, number one, talking about Pulev, I would say Pulev has been quite, I'll use the word unlucky for now because the first time he's meant to fight AJ even though I know when we look at it from the outside world he ducked from it right but he knows what he missed obviously he was injured so obviously Takam has to you know come in for him and stuff like that he's got another chance now again to go against AJ but the virus is there and you know the virus is putting everyone on hold and stuff like that so for him it's gonna look at it like you know what I've missed the chance once, I'm not missing again the second time because if I miss it this time, I might never get a chance anymore. That's on Pulio's side. On Deontay's side, Deontay will be looking into, you know what? <clears throat> I know what is going to come from here because I believe Deontay has kind of like, even though he's not coming in the open to speak, but at least he's made some few interviews which has been done in terms of quotes and stuff like that where Deontay has looked at himself like he's not stepping aside, he's just gonna see and you know he just wanna make he just wanna go for the bar and just see how he can prove himself back and Deontay just looking for ways to see how he can, you know, reinvent himself and stuff like that. So with that again and with his ego and stuff like that, yeah, it's pretty obvious like, you know, Deontay would not because in terms of that because but the offer in this now, even if Deontay now is going to be taking less, but at least it's still going to make millions of dollars and stuff like that. And the only thing that can help him again in terms of making money again is to see if he can actually come into this fight. If possible, run the bell back and then, yeah, then this money can stay because if you end up not getting this fight, that might be the end of Deontay making millions or whatever, whatever except when he's able to fight maybe the likes of Fury again maybe next time, which obviously the offer will be less, or if he's able to fight maybe AJ or Dillian, that's where you know we can look into him having the big million dollars paid in and stuff like that. So in terms of that, you know, business-wise, it's not good for both of them to at least step aside, to be honest, because they, no matter what they're going to get paid for the step aside, they might not be able to reclaim the chances anymore. So for both sides, it's really understandable why they're not, you know, taking chances to, you know, step aside. But the only thing they need to look at right now is the situation in hand. With the situation in hand, you know, things can literally right now, because of the situation in hand, things can go either way right now. So even if they don't like you or no or anything like that, they might not like you, but with the situation in hand, things can go either ways but it's quite understanding why they both would not want to step aside it's an opportunity that might not showcase again i'll just leave it there thanks brother i uh, appreciate it as usual so ty well, what, what was the take on this bro um my take is that you know uh 
I just don't see uh, Wilder um, stepping aside <laughs> at all. You know why uh, not? Why, why don't you see Wilder stepping aside? No, why? Why you don't see it? Is is is. His ego is is way too big, you know. Um, I would be surprised. I would be really surprised if they if they decided <clears throat> if they decided to step aside because we have to look at it as this: if 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 Deontay Wilder steps aside, that contract it's 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 gone, basically, you know. Um, that means he would have to work his way from the bottom because don't forget we have. We have uh, mandatories for that belt, and people want to see AJ, you know. And when pe people have seen, um, I, I, they have seen a blueprint. They have seen a way you can, how you can hurt Deontay Wilder. So people are going to be gunning for Wilder. So Wilder's going to have to work his way down, or work his way from the bottom, and work his way from the top. And his team is not going to allow that because they they see this they see themselves in the same position as AJ. They say they 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 see themselves as if AJ could do it, why can't Wilder do it? So that's that's what I'm looking at it as. So if for in order for Wilder would have to defeat Fury to get that belt back. If Wilder does not defeat Fury, it's going to be basically oh wow I really would have to work my way. From the bottom, I would have to fight. I would have to fight, <laughs> basically, almost, almost at least four people out of those out of those ten heavyweights that are listed. Out of those elite, out of those ten uh, elite heavyweights that are listed, I would have to fight those guys before I could get back to that. Before I could get back to the top, and even with that, he's gonna have to fight. Uh, he's gonna have to fight uh, Ruiz. Um, uh, Kaunaki, uh, possibly Robert Alanis, Effie Ajaba. There's so there's there's a, there's a handful of them that he's gonna have to fight. So that's what I'm looking at as him, uh, not not uh, not taking uh, a step aside money or not listening to anybody. He's gonna go straight into that fight because there's no other option for him. He's, it's a win or die situation. His stock is on the line. Everything that he's worked hard for is on the line. And the way I see it, if if, if they're gonna pay step if they're gonna pay Wilder step aside money, it's gonna be a big hefty amount of step aside money, because that's you're telling Deontay Wilder to step aside and never see and never never get a chance to fight, never get a chance to fight for a championship belt again. Because let's be honest, it's gonna be it's gonna be AJ versus Tyson Fury. If AJ gets that belt, it's gonna be a uh, 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 um, Tyson Fury. I mean, AJ versus Dylan White. After Dylan White, it's gonna be uh, Usyk. After Usyk, you know, uh, Pulev. If because you know you were talking about step aside money, because that means AJ, if if Wilder agrees to step aside, that means Us they're gonna have to offer something for Pulev. If Pulev steps aside, that fight then. Then that that the fight then could get uh, it could get made because I, like the people I have mentioned, those guys are waiting for the shot with AJ, and then Tyson Fury has mandatories too, one one or two mandatories. So you can see where Wilder's shot when he steps aside, it's gonna be it's gonna be oh wow, you're basically you're basically done for because we got Dylan White in there, we got Usyk in there, we got a uh, 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 um. We, we got a whole we have so, so so many handfuls that they have to take care of so you know so step aside is not gonna happen if if i'm being realistic and that's why i'm gonna end it thanks brother i appreciate your way structured uh statement as usual but you know career pull-ups you know um i think manager or so or promoter i uh, know no he's not his promoter i think uh Bob Haram is his promoter, right? And then his manager said um, that clause was covered very well. Um, he said, We understand that a fight with Fury and Joshua is big for the United Kingdom. The last we checked, we do not all live under a newly established British Empire. Let's just all do the right thing and move forward with the fights we have in writing. After Joshua loses to Prapulev, 
he can go fight whoever he wants. <laughs> I mean, why did he need to bring the British Empire in this, bro? Like, <laughs> it's great. Like, everybody want to see the fight between Joshua and the Fury, that's for sure. But at the same time, you can understand that uh, Kurebulev won the shot. And he, 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 the guy saying, oh, uh, if Joshua is going to lose. Listen, Joshua is probably going to knock Kurepulev out. To He's going to knock him back to Bulgaria. Where he's from? <laughs> As I just think, man, it's going to be interesting. But we'll see how it goes. So for those of you guys who are watching right now, make sure you click the like button and subscribe as usual, man. Stay tuned for a new explosive banger. Cheers.